Here we are. Patch 7. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a long fucking time. So that's how I've already waxed on a couple of them. I haven't played the game with them installed yet. Just uh, had a quick browse. Some of these look really fucking good. Oh, adjustable party limit. Oh, I'm looking. Ooh. Sick, okay. The adjustable party limit uh, gives you up to 16 fucking followers. What the fuck? 16 party members. God damn. Fully works in multiplayer if everyone has the same mods installed. Sick. Well, that fixes that problem. Maybe all the toggle passive added by this mod to get started. Yeah, that all seems that all seems good. All right, let's have a look then. So we've got these going. The die one never really got a hang of the die system. Uh, see if these were integrated. If these classes were integrated properly, like other classes, other characters in the game could be them, then that would work for me. But I don't think I'm probably going to play these because. Because, uh, oh, I mean, I might do it at some point if we don't update the mod list soon, but sometimes when stuff like this was added to Skyrim, it just felt a bit out of place and clunky. The whole XP is going to be really fucking handy. Weightless consumables, definitely putting that in there. Inspiration's uncapped, yeah, that's going in. Visible shields, that's sick. Secret scrolls, I'm definitely having that on. Uh, yeah, this one was fucking good. When I loaded back into the game, I saw this, and that's a subtle improvement, but it does make the loading screens a little bit less samey. Uh, the reason why, I, you know, this is a bit of a joke, but the reason why I'm not installing this one is because uh, I kind of think that. The fact that you can wear an item clothing that gives you all of those abilities makes some classes redundant, or not redundant, but oh, just less unique because I'm not going to use that. Um, what is this? This looks like the other one. Has various homebrew psionic uh, disciplines and subclasses to mystic class. Oh, so you have to have the other one, Rise of Expansion, those spells and cast are designed and created by me. A bit wacky on Vance, sort of feedback as well from... Okay. What else have we got? Yeah, see, I was a bit disappointed with this, because it said, like, additional playable races. I'm sure that the more will be added to the game, but for the time being, that just seems like a bit of a ridiculous one to start with. I definitely should have included Goblin before this. Anyway. Uh, also, are they going to have any kind of like... They can't have any race like dialogue or anything like that. It's just going to be weird, isn't it? Um, this is kind of where I got to before, I think. So, better tool tips. Does this fix some of the tooltips? Because there were loads of videos that said that a couple of tooltips were just straight up lies. This mod makes the tooltips for a team. Uh, UI from team, the tree, spell stats, and little, little UI thingies are better and more informative. Eh, I think I've got a kind of decent grasp over this. Hmm. 
What is this? Some new type of warlock, okay. Okay. No grid and transparent shell. Shroud, oh, shroud, yeah. Are we on the East Grand now? Go cool. soon. Fireproof Karlak. Let's have a look. What does this do? She's already got resistance to fire. There's no fire immunity. Uh, I mean, I guess it's sort of law friendly. Yeah, I guess. Still though, I think I'm just going to run it as is. Feels a little bit OP. Uh, bag of holding. <gasps> isn't isn't there a reference to this? Someone says, oh, if only I had a bag of holding. Uh, late 14th century DR, it was... I don't know what DR is. It was widely believed that bags of holding on Toril... I don't know what Toril is. Originated from the Kenda folk of the world, of, I don't know where anyway. So I wish I had bag of holding time. There we go. Continue your wish granted. That's about holding the game available on spawn or loading a save, and can also be found in the world in a couple of locations. Many, many thanks to. Uh, oh, I'm just getting out. What does it do? Is this just like a weightless bag or something? Fuck yeah, the icon looks trash. One photon kind of blah 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 blah. Right, okay. Yeah, so I imagine that just helps with storing shit. Um, Gail's. I didn't know Gail's beard needed fixing. Oh, oh, that's a tiny detail. I am literally never going to notice that. How many hundreds of hours into the game that I haven't done so far? This is a minor and un un unobtrusive mod that makes the origin slash character tags visible. And dialogue choices. These tags are already in the game, but are hidden from dialogue. Dialogues by default, just like uh, other character tags. Okay. Oh, oh, that's cool. So the unique options that I noticed in my last playthrough with Astarian, or my current playthrough with Astarian, would tell you which ones are the unique ones he didn't miss any. Okay, that's very cool. Some origin tag descriptions may be missing. See my polished or not translated, localized, especially for characters. This is not a bug or caused by this mod, but simply how. They are okay. All these tags are not initially made to be visible to players. A couple of examples I ain't in right? Uh... Okay. Well, I don't think we've missed anyone there. Cool. Oh, I'm going to download that one. That seems kind of cool. It's all spoon feeding, because you can kind of tell if you've played the game enough. 
but still. That makes playing like an authentic character playthrough a bit easier. Spell list editions. The latest update to the toolkit has introduced spell list merging, so I can finally begin this update. Due to the way Warlock's spells. I think I'm supposed to read spell lists are implemented. Each subclass will require their own patch. I don't really know what this is bringing. Oh shit, does it tell you from... Oh, okay. Right, okay, so this is telling you the options before you have to pick them. That's kind of cool, I guess. Eh, not cool enough for me to integrate them. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, where was I? There's only three lists here, so I imagine more will come out. I mean, it is only, it is literally day one of the new patch being uh, out on console, so. And I imagine that we have less than PC. Stained glass dice. Yeah. These would be cool if you were playing like a class playthrough of like a cleric. Uh, Fireball dice. This is kind of cool. Oh, there's quite a lot. Shard dice. Oh, sick for a shadow hot playthrough. Yeah, this is cool. A bit disappointing that it takes up the entire third page of mods, but there we go. Look, I, um, this right, in the nicest way possible, unless you're ch like some fucking super nerd who's cheesing fights to, like, how the heck, when has anyone really ever been, ever thought, oh fuck, I'm, you know, it's an inconvenience for me to carry this many barrels without being able to sack them? As a percentage of players, how many do you reckon this affects? Seems like it's a weird thing to have on a mod list this, you know, this early on. Surely there's way more people who are making mods for this than, than, you know, there's got to be one better out like this. There's, there's more appropriate for the launch of the new patch than that. Oh well. I do like all of these, these dice skins. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> what? Hide, dash, and disengage cost a bonus action by default in action if you're out of bonus actions. It's pro uh. Oh, action if you're out of bonus actions. But then doesn't this just make the rogue even less powerful? Add a passive with toggle at rogue level 2. So what, it doesn't require an action at all for the rogue? I think that's kind of broken. I don't think this is... Uh, I'm not a fan of this. Because I think this is just going to make the rogue even less unique. Which it already struggles from. Uh... 
no press any key to I have never seen that. When does that come up? Is it just a PC problem? Yeah, that, that, that seems that seems like a PC problem. Oh fucking hell! Right, there's a couple of cool ones on here that I want to run through before. Um. You know, before before I end the video and end up playing the shit out of this game. Um, for the hundredth time. Uh, this is going to be awesome because this means that you can sort of pick and choose your interactions without necessarily suffering from, you know, the problem with... Uh, Well, like on some, I don't know if you're actually going to be able to use mods in honor mode and still get the trophy. It seems like you shouldn't be able to, especially when this is a factor, because that would make it. I mean, that should make honor mode a piece of piss. Um, coupled with, well, coupled with that, which is just should make every playthrough fucking easy, um, and. Well, this is, this is it. This is part of the reason why I want to play them. Um, I kind of hope that they don't allow this for honor mode because it sort of takes away from the away from the the, the yeah you know, the accolade of actually getting it of completing it, which I haven't done yet. But you know. uh, uh, but yeah, this is going to be great fun because walking around, I'm kind of hoping they can interact with each other because if uh, you know the additional party members don't speak to to one another. When you're, you know, when you're moving about the environment, then that would be kind of dead. So I hope that's integrated properly. If it is, then that's going to be fucking awesome. Running around with the entire party, that's just going to be awesome. Um, probably more asked about that than any of the other mods, to be honest. I'm so happy that was included from, from launch of this patch. Um, yeah, so this is going to be good as well, again, because you can just navigate around the bits that you can't be asked doing without... Like, like putting yourself in a shit position later on in the game. Um, that's handy. Uh, it is a little bit annoying when you get inspiration, but then you don't get inspiration point because you capped at four. So it is quite nice that they've integrated that. Um, and I, I wonder if... Because I quite often end up using inspiration, so I don't think that's going to make it broken. Yes, it's obviously going to make the game a little bit easier, uh, but I think... I don't know, I just it felt a bit like sometimes when you had four, you needed to sometimes use one just so that you could benefit, you know, you could maximise the benefit from inspiration, like skill... Uh, what did you call them, like, uh, not skill books, inspiration related shit. Um, this I really like. Uh, yeah, this was cool. Then there's another one. Uh, that one I think should have been in the game by by default. I'm I'm, I'm just playing uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 at the moment, and um, that this is in there just made me think. Shit, why is it not in Baldur's Gate? Because you, you don't notice it until you notice it, and you're like, it's a bit weird. It's almost, it's almost like the way in Skyrim where. Again, it, this was a weird backward step they took from Oblivion. In Oblivion, if you had a staff, you can't have a staff, and you shoot, um, and you shoot there, we then go on your back. Obviously, in Skyrim, it just fucking disappears into nothing, and you take it out from nothing. It's a really weird way of dealing with the concept. Of, like visually, it's a really weird way of dealing with, with what is fundamentally a weapon. Um, to some extent, that actually put me off using staffs in Skyrim. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So visible shields, that's gonna just aid uh, immersion. Um, oh, and yeah, this is the other one. There's an update for that. Oh, was that the bloody update? Fuck yeah, update that shit. Uh. Oh, cool. Well, uh, that didn't seem to do anything. 
Oh, what well, did I just uninstall? Oh, I just uninstalled something. I don't know what it was. Fuck. Oh well, I'll figure it out in a second. Um, yeah, this is the other cool one because it's going to uh, hopefully make putting the time and effort into uh, you know playing more of the game in Act Three um, a bit more rewarding. I I fully expect that the, you know that after level thirteen everything's going to feel like a piece of bits, but. I feel like that's kind of a, the reward for putting so much legwork into the into you know into the game. I will say though that that coupled with the double XP is probably going to make things considerably easier throughout the entirety of the game. Uh, but you know, <laughs> I've already got all the fucking trophies, man. This is uh, playing for fun now. Um, so yeah, there we have it. I'm going to try and find those two. Uh, to mods that are disabled and uh, we're gonna have some fun so there we have it patch seven now we're only waiting for uh crossplay once crossplay is in the game they have delivered on their promise of making the best game i've ever played awesome fucking love this game 10 out of 10 everyone should buy it right see you in a bit soon